We're back. We're back. Back at it again at near Automata. Uh, where were we last? This last time, I remember where we were last time. Last time we uh, <clears throat> we were we the so. Uh, by the way, spoilers if you haven't uh, uh, played through ending A and B. Uh, I think we're about halfway through playthrough C slash D. Um, so two B and nine S. Uh, uh, came back down to Earth to fight against the machines, but, um, and, um, uh, fighting against the machines, and then they got split up, and 2B died, but there's a bit of a time gap where A2, the original android who was, like, a deserter, um, met up with, uh, 2B, and transferred her memories into the sword and gave the sword to A2, who is now on a sort of nebulous quest. Uh, um, her, her motivations aren't really clear. Um, so we finished her two sort of split parts of the story. So now we're gonna jump back, I think, to 9S, who is, who is separated uh, once this huge uh, white uh, gigantic structure uh, emerged. Uh, in the middle of the city. So, um, let's get back into it. I think, I think we had, I think we had to load up 9S's story, so we, we might have missed the first bit of that. Uh, Acorality says, hey, I was watching the latest VOD from the other day. I'm 99% sure your frustrations from the last session stems from you being underleveled as fuck. Um, that's, that's true, but I also feel like that just being a general difficulty spike would also make sense. Um, especially because the, the difficulty has now come back down significantly, um, just in terms of levels of, of monsters. Um, so, oops. That, that and yeah, the auto healing, well, it, it's because those enemies were so, so much more powerful than me that, um, I couldn't really... Um, I couldn't really get a great sense of, um, or I would often get one, one shotted. Okay. So, so it looks like, uh, to be is going to examine, uh, examine this tower that, that popped up. So glad to meet you. Okay. Um, okay. So I think at this point, 9S doesn't know that 2B died, really. So this looks like it might be the same material as um, the the copied city from the A and B playthroughs. Also, I'm sure you had items to heal the UI fuckery satisfacts. That would, that's probably likely. I never used any of the buff items. Um. What For a while, I was just going close that? here, over and over. An facility that appeared from an area beneath the ground. It would appear to be machine-related in origin. Further details unknown. Mobile transport platform detected in the section emerging from the facility center. So, um, I've noticed the elevator? plus zeros when I'm like auto healing, and um, I, I'm just not. I haven't been hurt. Um, but yeah, that is a weird thing, because it probably should just not show anything if it doesn't need healing. Oh, I have all the easy stuff to turn back on. That's right, hold on. I'm gonna turn the easy chips off, because, um, they screw, they screw with the tar- you don't get targeting when you have it. You've got, like, um... Man, it's just auto evade. Okay, great. Um... It, it, instead of having targeting on left trigger, you get um, your auto control. But it's like that's. Not good. So we moved over to easy mode, but we're not going to use those auto chips. Those, those auto chips screw with the camera something really, really bad. Because you don't target. 
with uh, the auto chips turned on, it just picks whoever's the closest and, and auto targets, and that shit fucks with the camera so bad. Alright, so we've got this big tower. And yeah, it kind of looks like the copied city from, from earlier. And it looks like there are control, uh, access controls here that... Oh. Oh, shit. resting. Affirmative. Relevant data concerns the massive facility you just accessed. It appears to be machine related in origin, though further details are unknown. Additionally, the large structural units launched from the facility have been detected in multiple areas. Large structural units? Said units were marked as goals earlier. They are believed to be so-called resource recovery units. What do these units do? Unknown. Where's A2? Unit A2's position and current status are unknown. All right. Mark the positions of those units on my map, will you? Proposal. Unit 9S should state his intentions. I'm going to wipe out the machines. With the bunker destroyed, previous orders to Yorha units would be suspended. Proposal. Rendezvous with resistance forces and confirm chain of command. I don't care about chain of command. I have one goal now. I'm going to kill every last machine, and then I'm going to kill A2. Ah, because, see, when 9S saw A2, all he saw was A2 stabbing 2B with her sword. We don't really know much about what all that means. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, I think it's weird that we... So when we did the, uh, when we did a two story sections, uh, we had to go through, we had to go through the mall again. Or no, did, did we go through? No, maybe we didn't. No, I think that's just where a two started off. We went through the desert. Oh, and we went through the factory again. So I bet what we're going to do is go through the forest and go through the park, probably. The amusement park. Uh, so, so some of the stuff that happened with A2, she met Pascal and the friendly robots and kind of got to know them uh, and then watched as um, their village came under attack. They went in hiding in the factory but then they were again under attack and then we made the decision to wipe out Pascal's memories. Um, to forget that all of the little baby machines died. Is that one of our large units? Affirmative. Said unit appears to be delivering something to the giant facility. Hypothesis. This facility may be designed to transport some kind of resource. What's the resource it's transporting? Unknown. For what purpose? Unknown. I think we saw one of those at when we were passing by the amusement park as well. It was um, just this huge structure. I don't think A2 commented on it really because she's not really Yorha anymore. Oh, 
Steam? For what purpose? Unknown. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on. I think I changed some of the camera settings when it was really fucked up on. Um. Hmm? Hmm, it said something in the right one. Okay. Hello, <laughs> literal steam pumps. Oh, fuck. Oh. back to my mind, people were making fun of the commander for not helping out, helping fight enemies, but QB could only do it because I asked did the hack thing on her before. Uh, yeah, that's true. They had to, like, hack her yeah. identification stuff out so that she wouldn't be treated, she wouldn't be seen as, as your hog. You could attack the other possessed your hog units. how open this forest environment is generally. Oh, this fog is making my eyes act up. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> That's my line. So, I'm, I'm also a little confused about 9S's route renewed sense of, like, justice against the machines, if only because we had a whole, the whole adventure with 2B, where we kind of saw the shades of grey on the machines. Like, what, what was our, I guess the machines ended up contributing to um, the two bees dead in some way. I mean, that's, that's what's going to Material, but I, can, I never usually have what I need to level up. Nine S kind of has been racist against the machines from the start. 
And I wonder how much of this... There, like, there's definitely been a time gap. Hey, fuck you. Um, there's definitely been a time gap of, like... What happened from the A and B endings to the start of the C and D playthroughs that we're on now? Yeah, the four. that mean? Shut down the recovery unit in the forest. Okay. Can I hack it? Not quite. There is a time gap and his memory keeps resetting after these major events. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, and he knows about the aliens not being a real thing. Oh, here is we go. Is this writing? I can't read it. Analysis. Writing is an ancient language known as angelic. It reads, meat box. Okay, then. That's the, um, the writing that some of the names of those enemies is in, in the first playthrough. That kind of gets translated in the second one when you're playing as an S. Blue Apron. Promo <laughs> code. Humanity is a lie. Meteorite. Is this entire building made of machines? Even on the inside? Analysis. Well, Many machinery? useless parts unrelated to machine life form functionality detected. The reason for using said parts is unknown. There's no meaning to anything they do. Yeah, we're back to 9S being like, no, the machines are just, they're just randomly acting. Hey, there's going to be a boss battle there, This isn't forest it? is our forest. <laughs> Majesty. Ending you fight Amazon Prime. Focus on the big one, please. Ah, targeting is not looking the strong suit. Necrology, that you could read the names the second time you play the first game. It could be because he's a scout and meant to be more information focused. I mean, the pod, if the pod could.
read the name here, maybe that's what we're supposed to just assume happens. like arena mode right now. Oh yeah, and I can't re I can't um, repair androids otherwise they'll come and fight me and then I can't do any damage to them. Machines can't feel pain. There's also just a weird use of like Technology in in constantly like so the the enemy species are machines or I guess machine life forms technically. Um, yeah. But like they are not the same thing as machinery, which is a part of part of society. Too. Okay. Yeah, thank you for keeping the spoilers light. So I'm assuming he went on ahead before the... the oh, he's... Ah! Uh, all of this. Right on time or something like he's kind of ex like like he is he's made he's meant to like I feel like uh, seem shape and he does.
still alive. Uh. Machine parts. Speculation. Perhaps these are raw materials from the structure itself. Possibly useful for creating weapons. Weapons, eh? Dude, these guys are only level 40, which makes me think that the beginning of the game is intentionally... Uh, Prepare energy. Close range firing mode. Maximum output. 9S. Fire. Well, okay then. I hope he knows the bunker is not working. Forest access key. Pod 153. Select unit to monitor. Okay, so we're kind of back at this um, split thing. I like that you get to both to use both of them. Unit IS has destroyed the core of our reco resource recovery unit. He has obtained an authorization key in the process, but I'm concerned about his worsening psychological state. Care should take it, be taken to prevent Unit 9S from coming into contact with Unit A2. Affirmative. Likewise, the, this pod will continue to see that Unit A2 avoids contact with Unit 9S. Uh... Oh. Alright, Acorality, get ease ease up, bro. Ease up on talking about this game. I, I don't I don't even know the whole thing about this. Alert. And, and, Abnormality and, detected in vitals of Unit 9S. Proposal. Commence data overhaul immediately. Pod, search for the other structural units. I need to find those authorization keys and destroy the tower. Alert. Combat inadvisable during abnormal vital conditions. It's fine. Run the search. Scanning. Actively operating enemy large structural unit detected in accessible location. Marking location on map. Uh, what's, what's the next point in the 
the map. Oh, there is something in the castle, though. You can go do something in the castle, or... Is this it? Underground? Is that... Where is that? That's not the copied city, is it? No, no, oh, no, that's the, um... That's the coast. That's the coastline. Coastline. Attention all androids, thousands of years have passed since the bit of a general as you continue giving your honor. So, one more recovery unit, and then I bet... Hello. This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. something written here too it reads soul box so the other one was body box right so if body box well i don't know maybe body box is about destroying or making machine bodies meat box meat box oh or maybe it's like a, a, a gestalt and replicant sort of thing. Where the meat box was the replicants, and now the soul box is the gestalt. Hey, I've seen this place before. Hey, I've been here before. No enemies. Uh, okay. 
Oh, I get it. I have to break the system protection before I can reach the core. Huh. So that's how it works. Huh? Oh, so I have to do... I. It's all hacking games. Obtained a weapon. Weapon. Oh, Fate. now they're just messing with us. Oh, it didn't say what I got on that one. All right, so if I got a hacking boost plugin, customize. Oh, no. Did I? Oh, here, hacking. Hijack boost. Oh, well. Oh, but that's just for remote control enemies. I don't want to. Remote control, that doesn't help me much. I have, what, five? That's not worth it. Oh, the weapon. What is, what's that weapon that they gave us? Faith. A sword le wielded by a loyal attendant. That... That kind of... Kind of it looks a little I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Um alright. Pass, thanks. Blocking devices on this floor. Proposal: Hack into all blocking devices. Did it get, oh, it got rid of the oranges. Ten thousand chi. All right. Where's the other? Tower system outline 022 port 0642423 tower system online outline 
The tower facility processes and computerizes resources sent by resource recovery units for use in its launch device. Is that processing computerizes resources? Made up of 246 stratum, it can filter and compress information with a turbidity of less than 2300 and have it recorded into the payload in approximately 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Details regarding routes required for the digestion of androids are recorded separately. This, the allowed diversity learning error rate is 20... What? That huge structure is some kind of launch platform. A structure that size could probably shoot something into space pretty easily. Oh. So this is some kind of cannon aimed at the human server on the moon? Insufficient data. Cannot confirm or deny. Damn it. Huh? So it eats up machines. Analysis. There are three blocking devices on this floor. Yeah. And I hack into all of them, right?
trying to do my dash and the dash doesn't work. from the machines? That's... No, that can't be true. We're the same, you and I? I mean, those are... I mean... All elevator controls unlocked. Proposal. Investigate the next area. Oh, the child is... Okay. Huh? What's going on here? My body. Those are my memories. But why? Is that Riku? And the Heartless? your girl that's two bees data oh that's right he was horny for 2B I know these are just memories but still no don't don't do this Inside the hacking space? How's that gonna work? Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Please, do you hear me? JS.kill. <laughs> oh no. Get that access key though. And hey, we don't have to walk back. Unload kill that J. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> make him violent a giant that would be perfect. Oh. This is the current status of unit 9S. Affirmative. His mental state has become dangerously unstable. Action must be taken immediately. I noticed something while providing support to A2. Enemy machine life forms have begun sharing data with each other. We'd better look into that. I'll share the data with you, so see what you can find out. But Affirmative. Data. I also have a separate report about 9S. What is it? He's just I'll horny for that data. girl. His psychological state has deteriorated to a grave level. We'd better handle that quickly, too. Agreed. What are these? Not sure what we should do, however. Hmm. Agreed. Proposal. Rest, combined with data checking and maintenance. Agreed. I will make the suggestion immediately. What are these pods up to? Who are the... Who? Okay, here's the thing. I know what androids are. I know what machines are. What the fuck are the pods? Pod. Where's the next resource recovery unit? Alert. NFCS failure. Yes. Speculation. Failure caused by intense combat and lack of maintenance. Near field controls are down? Great. Proposal. Overhaul system at resistance camp. I don't have that kind of time. Alert. Entering battle without a functioning sword constitutes an unacceptable risk. Unit 9S should have Devila initiate repairs at the resistance camp. Shit. <laughs> Quick save. Oh. Shit's screwy though, look at that. It's I think it's just deleting things, it's not like it's adding stuff, but Oh boy. Your boy's fucked up. Hmm. Well and the the continued existence of Devla and Popola androids is another weird question because in the first near they were meant to facilitate the replicantization process they basically uh were the the inciting force but these are supposedly the same model but not the same units oh, no. oh dear what happened to you wounded in battle NFCS not functioning. I'm amazed you were even able to drag yourself here. This is gonna take a bit, so just hang tight. This is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. I can't believe you even managed to walk here. All right, you're all good. That was a very weird moment. Um. Nine S. I need you to promise me something. Don't die alone. I don't think 2B would want that either. I know. Pod. Yeah. Mark the next resource recovery unit on the map. Affirmative. Oh. 
fucking where's it at? Park rent. I told you. I told you it would be at the park. Also, we saw that at the park. Uh, so transport, and we'll go to do 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 do. Uh, I almost wore my Sun Chip shirt today. But I didn't. <laughs> that was a very weird moment of like having to go in and get our NFCS looked at it's kind of a weird sort of clunky interactive moment ah just get up there Do you hear that tone? So these units are also able to detect over androids. And over. Apparently. One of those robots was named Back Alley Robot, I think. That language again. This reads God Box. God, huh? What are these machines doing talking about gods? Can you settle down? All right. I guess it's gonna be a school shooter. time I think maybe it did hmm. <laughs> oh God, why did the machines attack Pascal's village aren't they all the same unknown well aren't you helpful proposal unit a2 should gather further data on the current state of machine life hello Good luck. Good luck. The 
hell was that? Large structural unit of machine life form origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? Unknown. Well, let's go check out this large structural unit. Hmm. What is this area? So we're here. That's the resistance. So that's not the amuse. Oh, what is that? That is the. Oh, I see. Well, let's get to that transport. So. so maybe Nine S is becoming God. Become as gods. Oh, hmm. Sometimes it happens if enemies are nearby. But that's. It's always a little ominous. Maybe the prize is a stunning just bear. Maybe? I don't know. Hey, you put a machine in that bear. Now we're talking. Pod, why did the machines attack past. Oops. Wait, we already had this conversation. Oh. Alert. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up! I Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever. Ah, fuck. Flying things. These things all suck. go chase some waterfalls, but what if the machines are, you know, under-evolved androids? Because we saw that the machines pooped out those android-looking machines, Adam and Eve, and so the Yorha unit is like a robot eugenics sort of situation. Oh, well, this is not good.
knocked him. Good knockback. Good knockback. Bad in this game well enough. But it's like, yeah. Whoop. Target the one that's close to me and in front of me, you idiot! Oh, that's an exploser. Exploder. So is that one. Oh, fuck you.
finally. So this operator model is... Affirmative. Operator 210. Volunteer to undergo Type B equipment transition during previous descent. Sent to front lines as Unit 21B. Recorded as missing in action four hours later. No. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yo, she's got a lot of health. Even though these boxes are filled with machinery, they also have an android on top of one of them. Unless she's trying to shut down the box to get into the tower. Just 
joining the family. I was so lonely. A2 Brute Tay told me. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. Yeah, blood is a weird thing that these androids have blood. You I guess maybe the machines don't. Don't you dare talk to me about two feet! Yeah, no, yeah. 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 Where'd he go? Analysis. Your okay. part unit 9S is still alive. Query. Why would unit A2 be concerned with the status of unit 9S after turning on your hub? Shut up! Pod 42, contact initiated between Pod 42 and Pod 153. Oh, here we go. What is the matter, Pod 042? This protocol is not an interface intended for conversational use. Acknowledged. However, this pod has a confidential transmission for Pod 153. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between o Pod 042 and Pod 153. 
Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by the deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. Message unclear. Clarification requested. After repeated information exchanges between multiple pods, an, ex an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We, the pods, have developed unusually protective feelings toward support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. Query. Could this be our will? Unknown. The definition of will is unclear. Will, th will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination. Even if it were possible, such actions cannot be abided. Successful mission fulfillment is all that matters. Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty. Heh. <laughs> you sounded like an android just there. Agreed. But just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Perhaps. Pod 153. Do not die. This concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. I also hope that you do not die, Pod 042. Yeah. What? Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. Oh, we're close to the end? Okay. Unit 9S. Activate. I guess to this ending. <sighs> well, that's good to know. Good morning, 9S. Am I... Analysis. The hey. enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Oh, it did. Unit That's right. 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency suspend mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to current location. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Black box signal not found. Oh. Situation report. Tower access authentication key acquired. No, oh, we got the key. The required number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open for investigation. Good.
Alert. Enemy caution level rising. Cause is most likely concern over Unit 9S gaining access to tower. Out of my way! No, we reset. God damn it. Give me my camera back, goddammit! Allies? Hey, it's your girls. Wait, you? 9S? We've been expecting you. <clears throat> the two of us will take things from here. <laughs> you need to open the door to the tower. Bola, what are you doing here? Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense. We'll explain everything once we're inside. <sighs> Alert. Data sh records discovered for units Devila and Popola. Do you wish to open this data now? Yes, I do. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <laughs> well. A dusty wind kisses my cheeks. 
Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go, after all. Because our models, the Devil and Popola models, are defective. Record. Transitions in the project's initial phase. When first we woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls, and they issued us a single order. Function as observers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the twin Dovola and Popola models. It is the only reason we exist at all. We were the lightest model, though many companions shared our appearance. There, there was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. But we existed as a pair. We shared destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitations, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would, a day, that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. Ah! Watch out! Devila staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh when I hurry to her side and sigh with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry, sis. Guess I spaced out there for a sec. She smiles. The same wry smile I know so well as she rubs absently at her, at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Popola. Come on, we have to go before we lose the light. We won't be going anywhere if the sand gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devila grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devila's current lack of amb ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I... Oh, fuck. Oh, sh shit. I replaced the bandage and hope for the best. I want to repair this as soon as possible, but I have no tools or materials, and I know I won't find either in the middle of a desert. For now, the important thing is to make sure the wound doesn't get worse. Sorry about this, sis, mutters devil. That wry smile again. It kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize, I respond. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage and try not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. It's all I can do until I get the proper materials. But, th but that's going to be a tall order, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're apologizing. We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of funny in a way, such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Report regarding the increase in relapses. There has to be some way to prevent relapses. Devil's sharp voice echoes through the private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. Pfft, they wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless. Annoyed at my hesitation, Devil crosses her legs and scallops. The Black Scrawl took another victim, she says. That's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump. Just a little, but enough for her to notice. Seeing that, her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay. I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... When I was first assigned to the Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. But now, my chest hurts just to think about it. If it were to fail... If we knew it... Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self, and the Black Scroll had started raging out of control. It moved fast, so fast, like a wind. Popola and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We talked to the replicants as if, they, as if we didn't have a care in the world, but at night we just hold each other and share the horror of it all. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Popola. I couldn't have handled being observer, an observer all alone. We were able to endure because we had each other, I reply softly. 
Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were, were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case, I reply. Even if we're of no use ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devola and Popola models from another town. The wind rubs my cheeks. The sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for the lost time. Devila loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again, and we press on. Is your leg alright? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left. And yet, she continues to smile. Also, I won't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious. Beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it, but then she smiled and all of that rage just drifted away. To think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day, I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Record of Project Gestalt's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed. All due to the all due, to the, all due to the actions of Devila and Popola models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. And though success was an unlikely, and though success was un, and though success was as unlikely as finding a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids beholden to that same instinct began to direct their hate at the devil and Popolan models who'd snuffed out humanity. It started small, a few offhanded remarks, the occasional glance. But even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually became a boulder. Emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target for persecution. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I guess. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, well, they looked just like us. So we accepted it. We took the resentment and scorn. We endured. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution. But in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister, Devila, met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And, through, and though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed, everything went wet, red, and then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis, there's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Devla and I, Devla and I left town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again, and it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could mutter, muster. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. Oh, sorry, too much reading. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because this is e because even this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are, and that devil, 
and that Devil and Popola were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw Devil being hurt. I wanted to shout it at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devil. And for her, there's only one me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky. It stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devila? I'm alright as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try and retain heat. We're cold now, much worse than the searing heat of midday, but we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's, a, there's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix Devil's leg. And yet, I wonder if there's anyone... Or, and yet, I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress my anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It lashes at us without pause. Is this our punishment? I reach out and support Devil's body. As long as we have our bodies to support one another. As long as I have someone with whom to share my fate. And I will press on, no matter what happens to me. Because I won't ever stop protecting her. I won't stop. No one stops. For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. The failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race. Due to the discovery of its instability, the twin system was removed from future android production designs. Following the incident, the Devila and Popola models were not dismantled. However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. That is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devila and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could have I... escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Query. Why does this tower possess an entrance at all? All material transport takes place via aerial vehicles. It is irrational for an infiltration route to be so easily accessible. Hypothesis. Entrance is a trap. Is anything still possible? Yeah, girl. I don't care. I just have to kill them all. Yeah, so this is basically the same aesthetic as the, um, um, as the copied city. With the, the powdery white material, and the sort of glitchy effect. Corrupted oh. units. Ah, <sighs> it's 
two Bs. Two B models? <laughs> I'm glad I got to see you here. I truly am. Every last one of you! To be! To be! Don't worry, I'm going to kill you now! Ah, got he. Good going, kid. Alert. The structure known as the tower has opened its gate. Let's check it out. Okay. Sure. Let's check it out. Too, right. We went ahead and opened the tower. 9S is already inside. I see. Uh, we, 9... I see. Say... Did we... Did we manage to help? You did. We're really cutting out the middleman and just doing everything twice, like immediately, at one after the other, right? Like, we're just cutting out the middleman, just like, hey, just, you're gonna do everything twice. These characters need to be in the same room, uh, but we also don't want them talking to each other, so they'll just this go. This is a Yorha corpse. Hypothesis. The corpse is likely a result of Yorha Unit 9S's advance through the area. Let's go.
What's the purpose of this structure? Hey, what I happened of oh, the bomb? Proposal. Sorry. Gather additional data. Someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. And yet, the door is open, and there's no 9S corpse. So you know the little boy's gone, and he's like missing a leg or some shit. His face is ripped off or something. Uh, um, Two Face 9S. The iPhone Two Face 9S. Oh shit, this is the library from the first Nier. Oh fuck, this is like, um, yes! This is, this is where, um, Devola was, was stationed. She was like What's the leader. What's this place? Hypothesis. It is a representation of a library. Fuck. What's that? A library is a data storage facility constructed by past human civilizations. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose we have to hack in to look at the data, yeah? Help me out, Pod. Affirmative. Hacking interface access rights granted to your high unit A2. Peachy. Oh. Androids wouldn't have a concept of of a human uh, all human concepts uh, or just libraries in general. Uh, Adam unit storage record, Eve unit storage record, Yorha communications interception record, Yorha server, human server, human server establishment, human heritage reservation, tower system summary, tower subsystem unit, special units creation record, plant species preservation, animal species preservation. Looks like a data gathering system for the machines. So this this door is where um um uh 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 uh, uh, uh the sh no not the shadow like something a big monster awoke and and was kept in in behind that door for like five years. There's a time skip. Um, and then this is the door to Popolo's office. Look at that meter right there. All right, see ya, bio cow. Nine port 056776 human server records. Outline predicted human server infiltration route release. Dumb and dummy protection installation map. SG block, GI block, SF block. Genetic storage warehouse location information. Browsing restricted. Okay. These records are from the human server on the moon. The machines hacked that deep into the system, huh? Class one patient rec health record. Class one patient patient Yona. Yona was the little girl from the first near game. Chest X-ray nor no at chest X-ray no abnormalities. Heart echo nor no abnormalities. C one continuing chronic renal failure. C two convulsive seizures in the diaphragm. C three no vomiting. Four milligrams of luciferase. Luciferase was 
Lisa Frace was a, um, uh, a, 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 um, a chemical that, what was the, what did Lisa Frace do? I don't remember what Lisa Frace did, but that's, that's a thing in the world. Preservation plan. The patient's condition makes further treatment impossible. A report will be submitted to the management committee detailing courses of action in the event of the patient's death, focusing primarily on how that information is to be manipulated with respect to the original. As backup in the event of a sudden worsening in the patient's condition, she was she is to be assigned five additional doctors. Identification required. Okay, so this is Some really records on old humans. Damn it, this is useless. There's too many of them. Oh, cool. This is like how some of the rooms in the first game were set up. Was this is like a was this like a trophy room? Maybe. I don't know what these trophies do. are. These trophies that I've gotten. They look like people I've encountered. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Boss. Oh, are these bosses? Yeah, I guess so. I wonder if the material. I wonder what if the materials mean anything in terms of speed or something. Huh? What's that? Operational summary of model number two in Project Yorha. To be. <sighs> this data. <gasps> this fucking thing. Hey! Ah! I can't just... I can't stop. I have to keep fighting. You can't just do that. Do you... <laughs> Alert. Virus detected in locomotion region. High probability that infection source is transplanted parts from corrupted units. Proposal. Hack into self and eliminate virus. On it. yourself it's not really a thing virus eliminated 95% of functionality restored Now where now where are we? Because this is not where we were before. 
Your HUD unit 9S. Your HUD unit 9S. Welcome to the tower. Welcome to you the look tower. Like Popola. You bastards! Because you made it this far, we have a special announcement just for you. And those are the twins that I've been seeing in that second playthrough. Once you destroy all the machine life forms here. The red girl. Give me a goddamn camera angle, please. Secret, Yorha Disposal. Yeah, this is Project Yorha. That means all of us. To be. Now you know everything. Do you still wish to fight? Personalities created within the machine network. We cannot be destroyed. Your unit 9S. Your attack is meaningless. Your existence is meaningless. Shut up! Wait, oh shit. Hold on. So we saw these. Oh, okay, hold on. Yorha Disposal. The secret, the following materials document the final stages of the Yorha project. Um, project 3 1 Disposal of Yorha. The back door of the bunker has been set to open once the time approaches to switch to new models. When enough combat data has been collected, the bunker will be destroyed by having it be deliberately attacked by machines. At this time, all materials regarding the URA project, including this document, will be lost, and falsification of the information that mankind still resides on the moon will be complete. Wait. Project URA is a comprehensive information project designed to enhance Android morale. This entry details the circumstances that led to its proposal, as well as information related to the events conducted during its individual phases. Following the... Wait, did we read... Oh no, we did. We have read this. This was. Uh, this is. This is this document that Nine S got that basically said that humans have been extinct. So Project One Three is the lunar server. 
Project 3 1, the disposal of Yorha. So. But why. Why. Once the time approaches to switch to new models, when enough combat data has been collected. I don't. That's almost enough information. So, uh, these androids are not to be the last of these types. Keep them coming. I'll destroy them all. All of them. And this tower! Project Yorha was always meant to be temporary, right? Because there's no humans to save, so they were just collecting combat data. And if that's the case, to what end are they collecting that data? What are the new models that they're being replaced with? And who are they working for? Are they still working for the replicants that are posing as the humans on the moon? Because humanity's gone. <laughs> Maybe, are the machines making the androids? Is that what Ad, no, that couldn't be what Adam and Eve were supposed to be. Don't make me go back and do all this again as A2. Just don't do it. Ah, uh, you couldn't just handle this? Who are they?
Oh, we're going downstairs. So this is where... itself or consciousness data saturation rate 30% it's also very Data saturation rate, 60%. Okay. The androids the human race left behind acted as if they wanted to be human. The machine life forms the aliens left behind acted as if they wanted to be human. We resemble each other so, but we are networked and vast. We are superior to you. Hypothesis. The enemy's defensive system is prompting an evolution of its logic. Foolish androids. Why do you resist? All things end with accepting death, do they not? Yeah, fuck. Data saturation rate, 90%. Fuck. 
We are one, and yet we are many. We are finite, and yet we are infinite. We are the embodiment of the perfect being. I swear to God, if this game just turns out to be a, a, a fucking flame war between IRC and Slack. We move on. We are a simple command prompt. To the future. A network unbeholden to corporate interests. data saturation rate, 100%. What does Hypothesis. that mean? The enemy's consciousness has begun to fracture. What is the enemy, though? Oh. We need more evolutionary pressure. If we allow this android to continue living, we can create even more hardship for ourselves. Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. We disagree. This android is dangerous. There are two consciousnesses? It must be destroyed immediately. Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. Do you truly think you can win? What the fuck is that? The Analysis. The saturated consciousnesses are now in conflict with each other. Huh. They're acting like humans. Hey, I'm good. You guys can fight yourselves. You guys can figure it out. You guys are not very good at fighting, huh? You got it? You got it? Do I have to... No, it didn't, Reggie. It's not yet. Woo! Oh, we can look at the unit data. Maybe that's got something in it. Uh, unit data. Uh, peculiar machines? No. Wait, so she, book she, red girl, official name terminal, a program projected by the network server of machine life forms. The self evolution program installed by the pods eventually fractured its ego, causing the various aspects of its personality to, to turn on each other. Okay. Oh God, a goose, a machine life form that plays the role of older brother to countless followers. It has the appearance of a standard medium sized biped save for its arms which are formed from a number of Link Sphere type machines. Be wary when approaching, for it's been known to display tremendous anger when its brothers are harmed. And Friedrich, a little brother machine life form that desperately poured on oil on a machine he called his siblings. In the heat of battle, this unit begged for his brother's life to be spared, only to see him cut down without mercy. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah. Is this thing seriously still kicking? Ah, uh, these fucking worms. It is driven by remaining data located within enemy servers. So this just keeps going until I kill them all? We. <laughs> Lost. Someone. This whole failure. 
thing going on about? Analysis. It appears to be a leak of the enemy's past memories. Fill in this hole, daddy. Wreck this bussy. It's too busy making a bussy joke. Oh, it's the iPhone. All right, iPhone. Loose your rage. Tall tower, and we're kind of winding. Ah! Got it.
Platinum did a similar thing with, uh, you know, switching back and forth between lyric versions of songs uh, in Metal Gear Rising to amazing effect, by the way. Alright, see you sandwich, Brad.
Wait, are we fighting different Koshis? Oh, this is Roshi. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Dead. It's not even showing me the health bar anymore. Oh no! God damn it! Okay, this is okay. This is actually good, really. Okay, but for real, do it right this time. Ah! Oh, that was a mistake. Ah! 
Got it. Here we go. Alright. So even though this is the same pattern that I've seen, they keep they've they're at, they're making the difficulty go up by adding those guided rockets, which are not nearly as prevalent as they are now. Ah, okay. Oh. Why did you separate them? Just blow them both. Okay. Hey, don't do this. Hey, don't do this. Oh. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander? Me? To be? Sacrificial lambs. All of us. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we need- Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. Uh, 2B hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the Ninas type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. Huh? The official designation is 2E, number 2 Type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Ninas? Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod 153! And... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Huh? Guys, fuck, 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 Patriotism? Is it a, a, a two? I, I think still wants to destroy the machines. And if A two destroys nine S, then she's fulfilling two B slash two E. Uh, roll A two for Oh my gosh. Um we No <laughs> Take 
It doesn't matter! None of this matters! 9S! But if it doesn't matter... Why do I long for humans like this? Why do I desire the touch of something that no longer exists? It's how we were made. Androids were designed to protect their human masters. Our core programming demands that we... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Fine. I'll just destroy it. <laughs> if it all goes away, that'll solve everything! Damn it! Yo, Doggle, get down. Oh, just... Uh. Well, that really was pointless. Fatal system error detected. Memory leak verified. Repair impossible. Beginning emergency evacuation of remaining memories. I'm... My name is... My name is 9S. A newly manufactured scanner model. January 30th, 11.942. Rolled out... 4.25 a.m. bunker time. I will fight for humanity with all my strength. The pleasure is mine, Commander. I lie collapsed in a space of blinding light. The pain is gone. The light envelops me. It's so warm. I was anxious. A soldier from the moment I was born, thrown into the world of alone. Nothing to rely on. No god to believe in. I was alone. Tasked with infiltrating enemy territory to gather evidence. Intelligence. In the fog. In the flames. Alone. My name is Nines. I'm here to provide support. To be came off as being rather aloof. Cold even. She must have wanted to distance herself from me. I guess she didn't want to be attached to someone she had to kill again and again. Scanners like me mostly work alone, scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner, but it's kind of fun. I was so happy to be with someone. It was like I had a family. My damage worsens. I start to lose The space fills up with pure white light. It's like being buried in snow. It's a little bit cold. It's a little bit frightening. My soul disappeared? A dark fog clouds my vision. As it ebbs and flows in its slow, dreamlike way, it gradually takes human shape. It's the red girl. She slowly begins to speak. This tower is a colossal cannon built to destroy the human server. Destroy the server, and rob the androids of their very foundation. That was the plan devised by those girls. But they changed their mind. They saw us in droids. They saw Adam and Eve. They saw how we lived, 
considered the meaning of existence and came to a different conclusion. This tower doesn't fire artillery. It fires an arc. An arc containing memories of the foolish machine life forms. An arc that sends those memories to a new world. Perhaps they'll never reach that world. Perhaps they'll simply wander for an empty sky for eternity. It's all the same for the girls. For them, time is with them. Adam and Eve are inside the ark. Eve is asleep. Adam holds her in a gentle embrace. He seems to be smiling. I try to look up at him, but my body refuses to move. Looks like the damage has spread in my motor functions as well. Will you come with us? asks Adam. The question was completely fearless. It seemed I no longer had a reason to hate machines. Maybe I never had a reason in the first place. What have I been fighting for? Who have been living for? I try to speak my mind, but the words don't come out right. My thought routines are losing cohesion. I don't. I can't remember my name. I'm mustering all my strength. I force out the words. I'll go with you. We are have no right to remain in this world. You know, all the joke endings have their credits come from the top like this, too. Um. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't... Do you see? I don't... Uh, I, I haven't done C before. Uh, I haven't done either of these before, so... Okay. So the androids are wiped out, and the machines, I mean the animals are machines too, right? Chapter select can now be accessed from the title screen and access points. The debug menu can now be accessed by pressing right trigger and back. Activating the debug menu will disable all functionality until you load save data. You can now use the debug room. It can be accessed from the start menu at the debug room. You can use the debug menu to freely place enemies. Get some items. A two wig. The strange resistance woman has a new topic to talk about. Talk to her at the resistance camp to find out what it is. Yes. Um, so we're going to... We're, we're going to call it here because I, I have to go... I, I think I'm going to be on... on somebody else's stream in a little bit today but um that that's definitely i guess there was a hint that that to be kills 9s pretty regularly when when she it was either when I think it was when she's choking him out that um uh that she's like um you know it, it this never gets easier or, or anything and it either things you make you think like oh this is like a time loop and it just happens over and over again or 
Um, or I guess something like what, uh, what we found out and that she just, she is built to eventually kill the nine S units. Um, much like the Yorha units are meant to be disposable. Um, did we do the side quest amnesia? I don't, I don't think we did. Uh, I don't think we, we didn't do many side quests at all, um, but we're going to call it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching the archive, thank you for watching that. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to get back to this next. Um, I really want to, but I, I like maybe Wednesday. I have, to, I have to like hustle and get scam school out for Wednesday. So if not Wednesday, then Thursday, definitely. Um, if you're new, if you like this, uh, give us a follow. We do podcasts and stuff on this channel. Um, I do Let's Play stuff here or whatever these game things are. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, guys.